Yeah, I mean, look, it was it was an ugly start, but actually, I felt like I was in a few of those games. You know, I had, I had three break points. It could have easily been two all because I was serving and had advantage up as well. So I didn't get too discouraged with that start. Although it does, as the more the games go on, you start panicking. You know, especially against the guy who's just making so many balls. Everything you hit is coming back. But my first serve percentage wasn't great in the first set, so. Um, that's try and make a few more, and then you almost sometimes think you've got to do more than you have to um, in that situation. Then things start going really quick, so you have to try and calm down a little bit. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself the way I turned it around because it could have uh, it could have been ugly. Yeah, obviously it was an um, unbelievable day. I spend a bit of time at Wimbledon now, I'm a member, um, and I've been out on that court when no one's around. Just have a look. But when it's full up and everyone's cheering for you and you're playing against a world number one, it's it's a day that you remember for for the rest of your life. Um, and you know, as I say, I'm, I'm proud of my efforts. I just didn't want to uh, get back home tonight and, and regret anything. And um, and I think I made the most of my m most of my chance. It could have easily been different if it was uh, uh, if I took those break points in the second set at five all. Um, I didn't expect him to go wide on the first one, second one I think it was. He went big into the backhand. It was that is what it is because he was serving on big points. He was going tee a lot on the ad side, so I kind of covered that. And then the one where I chipped it, I, I expected myself to do a bit better on that. Um, but again, look, you, you get a couple of chances. You don't get that many, and if you don't take them, then there's not much you can do.